so kepler was the first scientist who gave few laws regarding the planetary motions means how planets revolve around the sun what is its period what is the area swept by the radius vector so he gave three laws so the first law says that so i'll write it here as a first law so it says that every planet revolves around the sun with a in a elliptical orbit with the sun as it's one of the foci suppose this is the sun and this is the earth so it is moving in a elliptical orbit with the sun as it's one of the foci if you have studied the ellipse so it ellipse will have the two focus so so this planet will revolve around the sun with the sun as it's one of the foci okay so this earth is revolving in the elliptical orbit around the sun not only sun all the planets okay which are in our present in our solar system okay so every planet i will write the statement so second law is related to the area swept by the radius vector so what is mean by radius vector so this is the vector drawn from the center of the sun to the center of the earth so this is called as a radius vector r and now suppose this in time t or say in time 10 minutes okay so the area swept by this radius vector will be this now when this earth moves from here to here okay now this is the position of the earth okay and in time t is equal to 10 seconds or 10 minutes if the same area is measured by the same radius vector now you can see that this distance and this distance they are different okay so it seems that this area should be greater but the area swept by this radius vector so the radius vector is r everywhere so the second law states that so this area swept by this radius vector in equal interval of time so the time should be same whether it is 10 minute 10 second or 10 hour okay so if you have taken is a 10 minutes this should be also 10 minutes so the area swept by the radius vector in equal interval of time that is equal so this area so this is the area swept by this radius vector in 10 minutes this is also the area swept by this radius vector in 10 minutes if the now this area which is swept by the radius vector in a equal interval of time that is equal so this is the second law and what is the third law so third law says that so the square of the period of revolution is directly proportional to the cube of a semi major axis so this t square is proportional to r cube so t is the period of the revolution so the square of this period of the revolution is directly proportional to the cube of the semi major axis so this is the kepler's third law so these th uh, kepler's laws are very much useful in a planetary motion